morning everyone. Today we're going to make a delicious naan bread, very simple, and then we're going to make a beautiful lentil hummus. Uh, usually people have a chickpea hummus, but you could actually make hummus with lentils, any kind of beans you have. So we're going to start off with our naan bread. And this is great to have if you're having a little party or some get together or just as a snack. Rather than going out and getting a whole bunch of chips, you could actually make yourself a little uh, a little bowl of lentil hummus and you and your family could sit, watch TV, and just with a little bit of naan bread, you could just satisfy that craving you have. So we could also do healthy snacks if we want to, right? You know what? We're going to start off with our yeast. We're going to put one package of yeast. And we're using a quick rise. I've got a little scratchy throat today. Okay, there we go. One package of yeast. And to this, we're going to put some warm water. Now, we're going to make about maybe three, three and a half cups of flour. We're going to play by ear and see how it comes out because I just mix things together and then out comes my recipe. But I want to be able to give you something. So, what I'm going to do is after it's all calculated, you'll see right on the side of my video, you're going to have all the ingredients marked for you right there. So have patience with me, guys. Okay, we're going to put some sweetness to this. Maybe an eighth of a cup. There we go. About an eighth of a cup of maple syrup. Now, you don't have maple syrup. You don't have to use maple syrup. You can use, um, yeah, that's about an eighth of a cup. Um, if you don't have maple syrup, you can use just sugar if you want. But that's really up to you. And to this, we're going to add some warm water. Now, um, I'm going to add just a little for now to get the yeast going. And then I'll put the rest later. And remember, everything's going to be written, written there how much I've used of it. So we're going to start off with... We're going to start off with half a cup for now. Actually, I can put the full cup. Here you go. One cup of warm water to my yeast and that's going to get that yeast going even faster even though it's a quick rise it's just going to give it a little extra boost to to push it up and to start bubbling plus the sugar is also going to help it to bubble even faster okay to that i can use some olive oil so i am going to use let's see let me find my olive oil maybe i'll use my good good olive oil for this one why not, right? I'm going to use my extra good oil for this. Okay, and we're going to use one, two, three, Four. There we go. About four tablespoons of olive oil. We're not going to put salt now. We're going to wait for later for the salt. And we're just going to let this sit a few minutes and we're going to get it to do its thing and get nice and fuzzy. We're going to put some milk also into the recipe. What the milk is going to do is make your dough nice and soft. Uh, if you don't put dough, it's still going to be soft, but it won't be as pliable as if you're using a little bit of milk in your recipe. So don't be afraid to use a little bit of milk in here. Okay, so we're just going to wait till this rises a bit, and I'll see you in a little bit. And we're going to start adding flour to this, and we're going to make a beautiful dough. It's like I have a frog in my throat. Okay, here we go. So, I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, I let it rest for a bit. Now, we're going to add flour to this, and I'll tell you how much I'll be adding as I do it. So, we're going to put this on low. That's one. This is two. I'm 
going to change my change it to a dough blade I know you're probably saying why didn't you put the dough blade first because I find that this helps pick up all the flour on the side of my bowl where the dough blade takes a longer time to do it but I'm just gonna switch this over it takes one second to do it and now we're gonna put my dough blade in there and to this we're gonna add Go. I'm put this down. Okay, we're gonna add some milk. I'm gonna add, let's say, about a quarter cup of milk. I just need my measuring spoon. No, we're gonna add one third cup of milk, and we'll see if we need more flour. There we go. So we're going to add one third cup of milk and we're just going to beat this up a bit. Now you don't want your dough super, um, super firm, but you don't want it too soft either. Remember, it's going to be written right on the side here. You'll have all the amounts I use in my dough. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, I forgot to mention I also added some uh, some salt. Sorry, guys, I'm a little behind with my recipe today. I did add some salt to my uh, to my mixture before I started to uh, before I started to blend it. And how much salt did I use? I use, let's say, about maybe one and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we're going to push this machine aside and we're going to just knead it a bit by hand. I mean, you could have just let it go in the machine if you wanted to, but I just like to feel what my dough is going to be like. Okay, so there we go. Beautiful, beautiful dough. Nice and soft. And I'm going to just grease my counter a bit. my dough on top give it a little there we go and we're gonna let this rise double the size so that's gonna be like one hour at least an hour and a half depending uh, your counter or your room how warm it is if you can you could also proof it maybe I'll do it that way I think I'm gonna proof it in my oven This way I can show you my this way I can show you my lentil recipe. Right? Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna put this on my board and it's gonna go covered into the oven and I'm gonna let it rise double its size. Now, like I said, if you don't have an oven that'll proof for you, cover it nicely on your counter, put it somewhere where it's nice and warm. You could even put it in a bowl. And then we're gonna cut them into small little portions and make as many naan bread we want and the rest could go for pizza dough. Just let me get on. That's what I love about my new oven. Proof, start. There we go. Into the oven. And it's gonna proof and we're gonna start our lentil. Okay, this way we can do our lentil hummus. Now you can make hummus by cooking your lentil from scratch or if you have a jar of or a, a can of lentils you can use that. I prefer using the, uh, the jars rather than the cans because it's healthier for us but you can use whatever lentil you have or you can cook your lentils. Okay, here we go. I have rinsed them out. Now, 
depending how much hummus you want to make. You want to make a lot of hummus? I'm going to make a lot of hummus because I know my daughter loves this stuff. So I'm going to get my food processor. There we go. And this is great. If you're hungry or you want a snack, you could. we could even make hummus pizza. So we're going to show you how we're going to do this. We're going to add a little bit of sweetness to this. And we're going to add, where is my maple? The queen of maple, right? Someone called me the queen of maple. We're going to add one tablespoon of maple. You don't want that much. There we go. To this, we're going to add olive oil. There we go. And we're going to add one, two, three olive oil we're also gonna add some lime juice to that okay someone told me to put my lime down rather than the way i normally do it so we're gonna give this a try okay here we go we've got i'm gonna pull this again we've got half and we're gonna do the other half I'm going to try this and see how it feels. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. There we go. So we're going to put the juice of one lime to start off with. And then if we want more citrus, if we want more tanginess, we'll add it later. We're going to add some salt to this. And let's say about maybe one and a half teaspoon of salt we're going to put just a little bit of black pepper one two large pinches of black pepper we're going to put some garlic there we go we're going to put about three cloves of garlic and if you don't want that much garlic don't put that much you know what maybe i'll just do two for now But I like the garlic. You know what? I'm going to do all three. One, two, three. Three cloves of garlic. Okay. We're going to put tahini. One second. I'm going to try about a third cup of tahini. There we go. One third cup of tahini. And we're going to blend this up and see what we've got. Mm -hmm. I love my tahini. Get the rest of that oil in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this through and then I'll show you. Okay guys, you haven't tried tea, you haven't tried hummus till you tried a lentil hummus. Look how beautiful this is. And talk about protein, protein. Loaded in protein, guys. Especially if you're a runner or if you're into working out. What a great snack. You don't have to use the naan bread. You can simply dip fresh cucumber or um, any type of vegetable you want. And there you go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful lentil hummus. Beautiful, fresh. parsley pesto and that's how we're gonna serve it this this is just super scrumptious there we go. let's just make a well there we go and that is our beautiful lentil hummus very simple can't get more simple than that guys you want to add some heat to it you can add some heat to it but it's really really simple this is just simply delicious when i say you're gonna love it you're gonna love it so we're gonna wait till our bread proofs and rises and then we're gonna start making delicious delicious non bread to dip in our lentil hummus so i'll see you in a bit guys
Okay, look at this. Look at the size of this dough, guys. There we go. Now I am just going to oil my board a bit. Now, with non bread, you have the option, you can leave it plain. Let me just push. Oh, there we go. You can leave it plain. You can add some crushed garlic to it, or you can add some black seeds, which I'm going to do. Add uh, nigella. I think they're called nigella seeds. They're tiny little black seeds, and let me tell you something. They are the bomb. And you don't have to put a lot of these, but it's nice to have them in your naan bread. Or you can leave it alone and not do anything to it, right? There we go. My counter is nice and clean. There's our naan bread. What are we going to do to this? We're going to make them into smaller size. Here we go. The size. Here we go. In my hand. About that size. You can make them bigger. You can make them even smaller than that. Now I am just going to grease my board. And I'm just going to lay them down and let them rest again. So try and get them as even as you can if you want to have that uniform uniform size. But it really doesn't matter because once it goes down the hatch, who cares what size they were, right? But again, if you're doing it for presentation, you do want to have a nice size, nice size bread, right? Okay, we're going to make some naan bread and the rest I'm going to save. And we're going to make, guess what, pizza tomorrow. You could actually make little pizzas with this. So try and make as many as you want. Let's see, we've got eight. I'm going to do maybe ten. Now eight is good too. You know what? Eight is good. I'm not going to overdo it. I am going to cover this. I'm just going to grease the top of my hands. And then we're going to put this on a grill. And if you don't want to use a grill, you can use a pan. And we're going to make beautiful naan bread to eat with our lentil hummus. 30 minutes, about 20, 30 minutes. This is going to rise on you. And then we're going to flatten them out and put them on our grill. So I'll see you in a bit. I know you want to play. Let mommy finish and then we'll play, okay? Good boy. I know, I know you want to play. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. My grill is ready. Here are my beautiful dough balls and now we're going to just roll them out. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my board. There we go. And we're going to take our dough ball and just stretch it out. There we go. To whatever size you want. These are going to be small ones but they're going to be perfect ones. You could even use a rolling pin if you want. Or you could just go around the world. If you want them a little bigger, you can make them a little bigger. But it's really up to you how you want them. You could even use a rolling pin. There we go. And onto my grill. Spray the top and then we'll flip it over. Now you can crack some salt on top. I can't do it one hand but you can do that and I will crack a little bit of my smoked salt but that's how simple it is to make beautiful naan bread. Now if you don't have a grill like this you can use a pan. Uh, you can use um, the oven. It really is up to you but they're very simple to make. So as this one is Cooking, I am going to start stretching out another one. You could also add more seeds if you want. It's really up to you. You really don't need that many of these black seeds. They really add a nice flavor to them. You got perfect size.
sorry about that guys my camera shut but I just wanted to show you I just flipped them over when you see that the back is nice and golden and that's how you make naan bread guys very easy very simple and that's it so I'm gonna continue making these and then I'm gonna show you my plate okay there we go Food should not be complicated, guys. Food should be easy and fast. If you don't have a good rolling pin, go to the hardware store, get yourself one of these dowels, and they'll cut it for you if you want. Food is very simple. There you go. We're almost done, guys. It took me five minutes to make these. You can also deep fry these. In Italian, they're called pizzondas. You could cook them in a pan if you want. Not deep fried. In a pan with a little bit of oil. You could do them that way. That's how the Italians do it. These are done more on a fire. I don't have a fire in the middle of my winter, so I'm using my grill. The results are always good and the same. And my last one. Wasn't that easy? And my husband came home earlier. He saw me make the dough. I said, this is my naan bread. He says, it's okay because I'm making pizza later. So he's going to make his own pizza. But very easy. It's dough. There is our beautiful bread. Five minutes and they're done. Really does not take long. You can make this fresh just before dinner. That's how easy these are. And that's it. So there you go guys. Simple, simple, simple. And I'll show you at the end my beautiful, uh, my beautiful lentil hummus along with my beautiful naan bread. So there you go, very simple. You could use this as uh, when you have guests over or simply at night if you have the munchies and rather than eating junk food like chips, you can have something healthy like this and you can eat this anytime during the day. So I hope you like this recipe and guess what? I'll see you in my next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.